Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Unified Minds Pokemon Booster Box. Unified Minds is the newest set in the Pokemon TCG. Official release date is today, August 2nd, 2019. This set is the 84th expansion in the Pokemon TCG, the 11th main Sun and Moon series expansion, and the third set to include Tag Team GX. As you can see by the box, the featured tag team in this set would be Mew and Mewtwo. I did purchase this booster box from Collector's Cash for $89.99. This is part one of the booster box opening where I'll be opening up the first 18 packs. You'll find a link to part two in the description of this video. So the plastic wrap is off of this box. I'll take the packs out now. As you can see, 36 packs inside the booster box. I'll open up the right stack of packs first. I can also show a 360 view of the box. You can see some of the featured tag team combinations on it. Very excited to get opening these packs. I have done one Unified Minds opening in the past on my channel. I attended a pre-release. Didn't do too great polls wise there. Hoping to do a little bit better in this opening. Here are the 18 packs that I'll open up. Eight new Tag Team GX in this set. Garchomp and Giratina on this pack. The first pack in the box. The card I'm hoping for most would be the Mew and Mewtwo GX Rainbow Rare. Right now that card is worth $130. A friend of mine pulled the full art at the pre-release event. Cryogonal starts the very first pack. Marini. Fomantis. Riolu. Purloin, Darkness Type Energy, Lorantis, Giant Bomb, Bug Catcher, Reverse Hollow of a Litwick, a Common, and the final card looks to be an Ultra Rare. It would be a Rowlet and a Lolan Executor GX Full Art. Now, booster boxes, it does seem like you're getting five to eight combined Ultra Rares and Secret Rares, one to two Full Art cards per box. That same friend of mine actually pulled that card in their pre-release kit. Their deck that they built was pretty good with two Tag Team GX in it. It does look like two versions of the code cards in Unified Minds. That helps prevent pack weighing. Four and two is the card trick to move the rare and reverse all to the back of the pack. Second pack starts with Litwick, Drillbur, Slackoth, Fungus, Hone Edge, Psychic Type Energy, Steeny, Deblade, Channeler, Reverse Solo of a Toxapex, which is a rare. Set this one aside. And the final card would be an S Cavalier. Now it is interesting right now in the Pokemon TCG, the standard format. It is a new standard format, the 2019-20 season. So lots of good cards have been rotated out. Take a look at the code card here. No Prism Star cards in this set. So the best you can do in one pack would be two rares. That Reverse Solo would have to be a rare. Cubone starts this one. Drudigon. Shroomish. Drifloon. Dupiter. Grass Type Energy. Reset Stamp. A very good trainer card. Similar to Supporter N. But this card only affects your opponent. Electric. Dedene. Reverse Hollow of a Lickalicky that makes two rare Reverse Hollow so far. And the final card would be an Executor. Espeon Deoxys pack now. Litwick starts this pack. Cubone. Yanma. Young Goose. Cryogonal. Middle Type Energy. Recycle Energy. Thunderous. Dragonair, Reverse Hollow of a Yen Mega and Uncommon. And the final card would be a Tapu Koko. And this is a Rare Hollow. First Rare Hollow of the box. Normally 12 combined Hollows, Ultra Rares, and Secret Rares in a booster box. It is the best value to buy booster boxes most times. There are somewhat guaranteed pull rates in these booster boxes, and per pack, it's usually the cheapest. Salandit to start this pack. Bound Sweet, 
Salandit, Scraggy, Tynamo, Water Type Energy, Fracture, Basculin, Munchlax, Reverse Hollow of a Rio Lue Common, and the final card would be Salazzle. Back to a Mew Mewtwo cover artwork design pack. That Mew Mewtwo GX has an ability on it allowing you to copy your GX Pokemon's attacks in your discard pile or on your bench. This pack starts with Druddygun, Cottony, Fomantis, Swaddle, Marini, Lightning Type Energy, Tauros, Turtouga, Tranquil, Reverse Hollow of a Scraggy, a Common, and the final card looks to be an ultra rare. It would be a Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX. Sableye is the only Mega Pokemon in this expansion. So a regular art when it comes to GX. 17 different Pokemon GX in this expansion. 8 tag team and then 9 single Pokemon GX. Next pack here. I am a big fan of Umbreon. As a Pokemon, the card in this set isn't that great, combined with Darkrai. Noibat to start this pack. Sawaddle, Scorapy, Wimpod, Slackoth, Fire Type Energy, Channeler, Azelf, Blues Tactics, Reverse Hollow of a Cresselia, an Uncommon, and the final card would be a Tapu Fini. Garchomp and Giratina pack now. A very cool looking Magmar to start this pack. Cottony, Snowrunt, Tynamo, Metatite, Metal Type Energy, Dragonair, Steeny, Dublade, Reverse Solo of a Tarakian, and this is a rare. And the final card would be a Slowpoke and Psyduck GX. So another regular GX, second of the opening. Set that one aside. In theory, a pretty weak Tag Team GX, Slowpoke and Psyduck, but I think it is decent overall. Aqua Patch has been rotated out, so that does make Water-type Pokemon a little bit weaker. Sneasel stars this one. Bound Sweet, Joltik, Solandit, Riolu, Darkness Type Energy, Dragonair, Delmise, Heracross, Reverse Hollow of a Deblade and Uncommon, and the final card would be Dragonite. There is a Dragonite GX in this expansion. Espeon and Deoxys back again. Another green colored code card redeem after the Pokemon.com URL. Dwebble starts this pack. Muna. Pikachu. Bidoof. Cosmog. Fairy type energy. Komala. Pokemon Research Lab. Luminion. Reverse Solo of Drillberry Common. And the final card would be a Galvantula. Garchomp Giratina pack. Now this is one very large set overall, 258 total cards, 22 of those, secret rare, so it will be an expensive set to complete. Stunfisk starts this pack, Onyx, Finneon, Alolan Grimer, Carablast, Water Type Energy, Flyanium Z, Blizzard Town, Why Not, Reverse Hollow, and Alolan Marowak, a rare. And the final card would be a Garchomp, and this is a rare hollow. Good looking hollow foil pattern on the card, it really stands out. At the pre release tournament, I did build a psychic type deck, Alolan Marowak, a decent card. I actually won the game turn two using Spirit Smash on that card. Axew starts this pack. Finneon. Stunfisk, Gibble, Lickitung, Darkness Type Energy, Giant Bomb, Bug Catcher, Mesrit, Reverse Solo of a Pidove, a Common, and the final card would be a Leavenie. 
getting down there on packs in part one. Five packs left after this one. Hoping to pull out one more ultra rare. It could happen here, TCGO, after the Pokemon.com URL. Sneasel starts the pack. Weavile GX is decent in this set. Magnemite. Slackoth. Axew. Fletchinder. Lightning type energy. Magneton. Sableye. Swadloon. Reverse solo of a Murkrow, a common. And the final card looks to be another ultra rare, just like I was hoping for. It would be a Naganadal GX. So another regular art GX. Set this one aside. Three regular GX so far, one GX full art. So that does make six in part one. Rare hollow, ultra rare, and secret rare. That is. Not expecting too much here in the remaining packs. With that being said, could pull something good in this one. I haven't looked too closely at this set so far. But just at first glance, I do like Team Up and Unbroken Bonds a little bit better. Honage starts the pack. Pikachu. Pidov. Poipol. Numo. Psychic Type Energy. Electric. Dedene. Lorantis. Reverse Solo of a Type Null and Uncommon. And the final card would be a Mewtwo and Mew GX Rainbow Rare. And this is the most valuable card in the expansion. This is a $130 card. So that will make the box very easily. It is not often that I pull the most valuable card in the expansion. So what a great way to start off my Unified Minds openings. Wow, cannot believe my luck. I will not have to go out and buy that card. And for the most part, that card is going to be a staple in a lot of GX based decks going forward. So pretty good pull there. Best I could have hoped for. Take a look at the code card here. Murkrow starts this one. Snover. Dratini. Fungus. Honedge. Fire type energy. Luminion, Normalium Z, Hapu, probably the best supporter in this expansion, Reverse Solo of a Normalium Z, an uncommon, and the final card would be a Magmortar. Three packs left to go in part one. Murkrow to start this one. Execute, Alolan Grimer, Hoot Hoot, Carablast, Grass Type Energy, Baskin Lin, Munchlax, Reset Stamp, a very good trainer card, Reverse Solo of Marini, a common, and the final card would be Steelix. Second to last pack now. I'm expecting green colored code cards for the final two packs. If I really wanted to, I wouldn't even open up the second half of the box since I pulled out the most valuable card. Joltik starts the pack. Dratini. Young Goose. Yanma. Execute. Fighting type energy. Mesprit. Komala. Pokemon Research Lab. Reverse Fallout of a Magnemite, a common. And the final card would be Honchkrow. On to the final pack in part one of this booster box opening. Very, very happy with the pulls. Getting the card that I did want most. Final pack here, maybe some last pack magic, a rare hole at the very least. Magnemite to start it. Fletchling, Onyx, Fletchender, Snover, Fairy type energy, Azelf, Blues tactics, Fracture, Reverse Hollow of New Veltale Rare. So two rares in this final pack. And the final card would be a Serena. And this is a rare hollow. So I can summarize my pulls now. Like I mentioned, couldn't have been any better pulling that GX Rainbow Rare of Mewtwo and Mew. So out of part one, I was able to pull out five rare reverse holo, Eveltal, Alolan Marowak, Trakian, Lickalicky and Toxapex, and two rare hollow, Garchomp, and Tapu Coco. 
as far as the ultra rares go, as well as the one secret rare, I was able to pull out three regular GX, Slowpoke and Psyduck, Naganado, and then a Mega Sableye and Tyranitar, one GX Full Art, Rowlet and Alolan Executor, and then easily the best pull of the opening, the Mewtwo and Mew GX Rainbow Rare. So to summarize my pulls again, I was able to pull out five rare Reverse Hollow, two rare Hollow, three regular GX, one GX Full Art, and then one GX Rainbow Rare. So that will conclude part one of this booster box opening. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, as well as a link to part two of this booster box opening. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.